welcome to this week's episode of Help Desk with Joe, and with me as always, Joe. We're back. We're back, and we're here, and we've got some uh, product updates, one of my favorite types of uh, shows that you do, and of course you do shows that help people uh, stay safe with technology. Yes. You update their lives and try to help them be more efficient with what they do with technology, and troubleshoot some technology issues. So this one this week uh, is product review, and this is an Apple converter. Yes. So give us a little bit of general information about this product. Okay. This is the Apple iOS to HDMI converter. And it's a simple little device. This end, of course, is the Apple 8-pin connector, which they refer to as the lightning connector, where they changed a couple years ago from the 30-pin connector. Right. So this is the 8-pin connector. This will work with iPods, iPads, and iPhones, any iOS device that has the 8-pin connector. Okay. And what's it convert to? It converts to HDMI. So with this device, it allows you to hook your phone up to the TV. And it's also an extra little slot here. You can actually plug in your charger so your phone can be charging while you're playing whatever you have on your phone or device on the television screen. That's my next question. What would you play on your phone that would go to the TV screen? Well, simple. Just for those, uh, like I don't plug my phone in anything except the charger. So what usage would this allow me to do? Well, for, for example, if you have, let's say you're doing a presentation. And you've got your presentation on the iPad. You can just take this converter, and if you've got a big monitor or projector that takes HDMI, you just plug it in. You can run everything from your iPad. Or from an entertainment spec point, if you're wanting to watch a Netflix movie on your television instead of that little phone screen, you just plug it in your television, and you've got full Netflix on your television. Okay, so both business and entertainment. Right. And having HDMI capabilities allows you to connect to the different multimedia. Right. Okay. What's, uh, you know, we always go through the pros and the cons, and Joe's thumbs up, thumb, thumbs down rating. Uh, let's start that off. Now, we're looking at this product, and I assume you've tried it out. Yes. As always, you give it a run through. Uh, how long did you try this out, and what sort of test did you do? I tried it for a couple hours. Uh, I hooked it up with Cena's phone because I have Android. <laughs> <laughs> Always Cena's phone. Why does her phone get the test runs? Well, it's an Apple, so you know she's got to take it through its paces. Did she know that you were running it? Yeah, test? this was actually part of her idea. So. Okay, all right. So, so she allowed it. <laughs> Cena approved test. Yes. You like that? It's better than the water one. Yes. I'm sure, but okay. So I hooked it up, tried a couple apps, tried watching the movie, watching some TV shows on it. And overall, the experience was good, but I'll get in more detail when we get to the okay. cons part. All right, so you put it through its paces. What are some of the pros with this product? The pros is the size. I really like the size. If I travel a lot and I need to do a lot of presentations, it slips right in the bag, and I'm right. ready to go. Yep, okay. Um, did it affect you all that, I mean, this seems like a short cord, but does that matter at all? It doesn't really matter. Cause you didn't have any problems? No. Okay. No, because you literally just lay it down, so it, you're only limited by the length of the HDMI cable. Okay, and that, that was my next point. You can get a longer, like what are common lengths for an HDMI cable? 6, 10, 25, 50. So, so. Even, you can run as far as you want. Okay. All right, what's, uh, let's switch gears to the cons. Okay. What are some cons? For this the cons, the first one's the price. This retails for $49. Now, it's an even bigger con now than it was because last week when Apple announced the new Apple Watch, they also announced that they're reducing the price of the Apple TV. So if you're buying this for technically just entertainment purposes of hooking your device up to watch it on your television, spend the extra $20. The new Apple TV is supposed to be $69. So with that extra $20, you can control your phone wirelessly to the television. Right. Without having no to. need for that. Right. So $20 and you cut out the middleman. Right. From what you've se seen or the information you've got so far from the Apple TV, is that should people that are considering this wait then? see what happens? Well, the Apple TV's been out and it's been established. It's been around for a couple of years now, and it's a great device. Uh, it, it works, if you're familiar with Android, it's very similar to that. You just hook your Apple devices up to right. it and run it okay. through that way. All right, so I mean, people should be familiar with that if they're already considering it. Right. Okay. Any other cons that come with it? Uh, uh, another, a big con, I, it was almost a deal breaker for me. Really? Yes. Okay. We don't get these very often? No. When I hooked it up, because I'm used to my device, and I have a, the Chromecast, which I absolutely love, run it wirelessly, and I can do other things on the on my phone while I've got it connected. When I hook it up with this, whatever I do on the phone goes on the screen. Plus, with Cena's phone, she has security, which you should always have. I'm not telling you to take away your security, but with hers, by default, after a minute of inactivity, it goes, it shuts the screen off, and it puts on the password. So if I've got something going on and just leave it idle after a minute. Yeah, because now if you're watching a movie, it'll continuously play. Right. But if you pause it to, say, buffer or step away for a minute, 
it automatically goes in the lock screen, so you have to go back in and unlock it and start over. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I can see where that would be a huge aggravation. Yeah. But so the fix for that is you have to turn your password off right. to when you got to connect it, and then remember to put, put your back password on. back on when you okay. finish. Yep. All right. Any other cons? Those are pretty much the two big ones. I mean, for the size of the device, the functionality does exactly as advertised. So I, there's not any knocks there. It's just some of the, the other parts of the right. yeah, when you experience. Start to the experience overall. Okay. Uh, as far as your rating systems, uh, Joe's one to five stars or thumbs up, thumbs down. What are you looking at with this? Out of a five star rating, I gotta give this one a three and a half. Three and a half. And and it's only because of the price point and the functionality, the limitations, the issues I had with the password. That the password alone was almost a deal breaker for me. Right, right. And then the, with the price for twenty dollars more, you get the Apple TV and you get a lot more functionality with it, a lot of extra bells and whistles. So yeah. now if they drop this in price, we might you know, go back and reevaluate. But for right yeah. now, the current price point, it's really hard to say go with this instead of that. Yeah, and I, and I can see that, and I, I agree with what you're saying to the fact of you're right. At some point, it has to be worth the money for that little bit of aggravation or a lot of aggravation to come into that. So right. Definitely uh, an issue to look at. So if someone wanted to ask you more questions, if they said, all right, you know, this may be what I'm looking for and we're not interested in the Apple TV devices, how do they get a hold of you and what should they know before they call you to ask? It's real simple. Just look at the bottom of your iOS device, whether it be an iPod, iPad, or iPhone, and if it has that small 8-pin connector, you're ready to go. Okay. So that makes them eligible to use this on their device? Yes. And then how they get a hold of you? You can give us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588. Check out our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com and go under Contact Us section, and you can actually contact us directly through it. Or be like Dave and like us on Facebook. You know, and I get the email on updates as well now. Yes. Awesome. So, yes, if you like, uh, if you utilize Facebook a lot, get the uh, constant uh, daily deals on Facebook, and then you can get the email updates as well to get in on the special deals. Yes. And get the ahead of time deals on uh, the holidays and so forth. So, it's always nice. Plus, uh, we started we started this last month, but we're doing monthly giveaways. So, check our, yeah, web, our Facebook that. page often because we always have new monthly giveaways. I haven't won anything yet. What's going on with that? You have to, have, have to talk to Cena talk about to that. Cena. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but yes, all kinds of good stuff going on. So if you're interested in technology, you have any technology questions, or you need to purchase anything related to technology or even close to technology, I know you guys are branching out and doing a lot of new stuff. Uh, talk with A&M Digital Technologies. Joe and Cena McDonald here are local Roane County uh, technology gurus, and they'll be more than happy to fix you up. And like them on Facebook and get those Facebook daily deals, mm -hmm. which are awesome, and I wish I had more money. I did too. You can <laughs> do as well, and, uh, and you can check those out. So any questions you may have, Contact these folks. They support all our shows and our programs here at Patch as well. So uh, A&M Digital Technologies producing our shows. And uh, we thank you. And we'll be back next week. And uh, hopefully it will involve some water, seeing his phone, and some and, and entertainment. <laughs> sure. I like those. <laughs> I do too, but Cena's not a big, Cena's fan, not for a big fan of no. that. Okay. We'll work on it. So. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you and have a great week. And we'll be back with Joe and Cena McDonald on A&M Digital Technologies with more stuff related to technology next week.